What's up you guys? Hey, thanks for watching this video. In this video, I want to talk about the opioid epidemic because today Trump is getting ready to declare it a national emergency, which means I guess they're just gonna throw more money at it. I'm supposed to be on RT America tonight, which is TV news channel to talk about it. When I get interviewed in these things, I can't really always say what I want to say because they're so short. So I figured maybe I just make a video put it on the YouTube so that everybody can hear it all the time. Here's my deal with the opioid epidemic. Quick background, you know, in the late 90s, we developed this stupid, <laughs> stupid, stupid way to score pain in our patients, right? A, a late, late 90s, early 2000s. It's the old happy, sad face, scale one to 10, what's the worst, you know, the 10 being the worst pain you ever had what's your pain right now? And patients come in, they're like, hello, my name is John Smith and my pain level is 10 out of 10. Really John Smith, your pain level is 10 out of 10. You don't look really in that much pain. Well, I am. Then we develop all these protocols where the nurse has to say, well, he, uh, John Smith is 10 out of 10. That means I have to give him X amount of pain medication. So here you go shove this pain medication down your throat. You have to take it because you're at, you're a 10 out of 10. Takes no, you know, there's no, there's no clinical judgment. The guy gets addicted to opioids and goes home and starts using heroin because he can't get a prescription and all that stuff. So those are, those are some of the problems. Then there was actually a study done and I can't remember who it was done by, but the AMA said, yes, this, see this study right here shows that opioids are not addictive when given as a prescription for you know pain so then they talked to the medical the, all the doctors into believing this bullshit, that you can just give these out like candy it's not a problem and then they told us we have to give them out because we want people to have good satisfaction when when they go into the hospital and the hospitals then got dinged if they had low satisfaction scores you have a low satisfaction score when your patients are in pain all the time and so they just developed this you know series of events which caused all the hospitals well the government incentivized the hospitals to give patients pain medication as in opioids all the time and then the you know basically ama convinced physicians that this was a good idea meanwhile the physicians are like this is probably not a good idea this is this is Probably not a good idea. I think we're probably addicting all these people and the government pushed the hospitals The hospitals pushed the physicians then the physicians gave the pain meds out now. We have a, a disaster Disaster everybody I see is taking not everybody. Okay, not everybody fine, but most a lot of them are taking some opioid pain medication and I'm talking like everybody from 21 years old to 90 plus year old patients cannot go with, I mean, I see grandma all the time, cannot go without their Vicodin and Percocet every single day. And they will lose their fucking minds if you try and take it away from them. I think the other thing that's, that's really interesting is that we've also become a society of instant gratification. We can't deal with pain. We can't deal with emotional pain because really, you know, the opioids are there to treat physical pain, but when you become addicted then it's really emotional type of pain it's really not a for the most part i know you guys are gonna get crucify me for saying this but for the most part it's really an emotional pain this this addiction so what's the solution everybody's looking for a solution the solution is education there's no way you're going to legislate and remove the medication from people's hands the answer is not to take all these people that are already addicted and try to force them into a rehab or pay for some kind of therapy to help them they're in deep sh i hate to say it but a lot of those people are never going to get better for a lot of different factors you know the best way to treat this is to prevent it it's just like diabetes and hypertension it's not good when you're treating hypertension and diabetes it's much better when you just never get in the first place seat belts you know smoking big campaigns like national campaigns to put seat belts on to decrease the car you know the deaths from car accidents to get people to stop smoking that's what needs to happen i think this is the only way like they're gonna throw a ton of money at it probably the only way to fix it people do not want to stop taking narcotics it's a horrible situation i hate to see it 
I hate working with it because it's as a physician is really hard. It complicates everything. I know what the problem is, yet I can't talk to the patient about it because they just go bananas. They hate me. I get comments on my other opioid videos. They're like, you're an idiot. You don't know what you're talking about because you've never been in pain. I have not been in a situation where I need chronic opioids. So I don't know what that, that's like. I haven't walked in those, those shoes, so I can't really say that. But from a perspective where I see thousands of people on these medications, I get a sense of what exactly is going on. So that's why I do that. And I admit I'm not in those shoes, so it's, it is hard. But I have seen it from the other side thousands not maybe tens of thousands of patients and how they act most of the time when they come and ask me for this medication they are in emotional pain it is not really a physical pain physical pain is different i've seen this kid shot in the head like this okay through the eyeball into the mouth out the mouth and into the neck he is not crying for pain medication okay that is a different type of pain when patients are addicted to these pain medications they are crying this is an emotional pain they're sobbing that they have pain but this is an emotional pain i'm telling you you guys are gonna kill me over this one this is my perspective on it this is what i see i talked to a lot of other doctors too they also think that this is what's going on so that's beside the point the only way you're going to stop this is to prevent people on the front end from getting into this horrible horrible downward spiral that i that i watch these patients go into and you know nobody Nobody can help them. It has to be a behavioral change, and addiction is very difficult, as everybody knows. It's total disaster. So that's what I want to say on this RT America tonight, but I probably won't be able to say half of that, or not even half of that. So I would tell, I thought I'd tell you guys, and then what I want to do is ask you, what do you guys think it is? I mean, a lot of you guys are in med uh, medical school, residency, other doctors, other nurses, PAs, NPs, you tell me what you think of what I just said, number one, what you think the problems are, what you think the solutions are, that'd be cool. I'd like to actually get a little back and forth. Not mean, like I'm not trying to be mean to anybody, so you guys don't need to be mean to each other or me. But um, I would like to hear your input. So I appreciate you guys watching this video. I appreciate you watching all my videos. It's been really fun and I'm gonna keep doing them as long as I can. Anyway, like the video, share it, comment, definitely, and subscribe to my channel, It'd be great too. Okay, take care, bye-bye.